One of the main challenges with selling private label products on Amazon is finding a reliable and trustworthy supplier. Since we all know how difficult it can be wading through the hundreds of suppliers on Alibaba with no real way to vet them until now. In this video, I'll show you Jungle Scout's brand new supplier database update that was just released a couple days ago that now makes finding and vetting top suppliers only a few mouse clicks away. But first, my name is Crescent, and on my channel, I share tips and strategy videos, just like this one, on how you can create a successful Amazon FBA private label business. So if you enjoy videos like this, consider subscribing. All right, let's get started. If you've been following my channel for a while, you've probably seen my past videos on Jungle Scout's powerful supplier database tool. They actually released this tool about six months ago, and it's a game changer. But just the other day, they made the tool much, much better because now, with just a few mouse clicks, you can find who the supplier is of your competitors so you can use them too to get the best quality and pricing. The most common feedback when vetting suppliers is whether or not they're a legitimate factory, getting poor quality products or products that don't match the samples that were received or non-competitive pricing. If you're looking for suppliers on Alibaba, for example, the details that are found on a supplier's page are all self-submitted, so that's not really a trustworthy resource. With the new supplier database tool, you can now see real-world feedback on the products based on the reviews on Amazon. And the tool lets you find out who the supplier is so you can use them as well with the confidence that they're a legitimate factory that produces high-quality products and most likely competitive pricing. So finding a competitor supplier is actually really easy with the new tool and can be done in three simple steps. Find a top rated listing, copy the ASIN, and then search the ASIN in the supplier database. All right, so let's jump onto Amazon. I'll give you some examples. So let's take a look at uh, the felt letter boards. Now what you wanna do is look for some of the top sellers that have excellent reviews. So we can see here that uh, this seller here has 1,900 five-star reviews, right? So let's find out who their supplier is. So let's click on their listing. And what we'll need to do is get their ASIN, which is in the URL. It always starts with B0. So let's copy that. And then if we go to Jungle Scout's supplier database, their new tool is the ASIN search. So we'll click on ASIN, paste the ASIN here, and let's do a search. And you can see it pulled up their listing. This is them here with five-star reviews. And you can see that this is their store name on Amazon and Blue Stem Group is their trademark that they're doing business under. And you can see that these are the suppliers that they've used and when the last shipment was. And we can see here that the last one, the most recent one is in May of 2019. And if we click on that, we can actually see that there were felt letter boards, plastic letters. Okay, you see how powerful this is? And now if we actually click on the supplier's name, we can see how many shipments they've made and when they were and who their other customers are. So let's take a look at another example like uh, diaper caddies. And again, let's find a seller that has really good reviews such as uh, this one, 478 reviews and four and a half stars by Parker Baby Caddy. Okay, so again, let's grab their ASIN here and let's go back to the supplier database tool and we'll paste the ASIN here, click on search. And you can see again, it pulled up their listing. This is their store name and their trademark is Good Life Limited. And you can see that they've had two suppliers here and the most recent one being in December of 2018. And one is from China and the other one is from Korea. And that's actually a great point here because the supplier database will actually show you all the suppliers that they've worked with and now with the US and China trade war and the tariffs that are imposed for suppliers that's coming from China, you can actually use the supplier database to find suppliers outside of China if you wanna avoid the tariffs, okay? So let's click on this one. And you can see that they got this bag on uh, December 27th, okay? And again, if you click on their name, we can see who their other customers are and when those shipments were. 
all right? So once you've found some suppliers that you can work with, you can actually add the suppliers to the supplier tracker. So you can click on the Save Supplier button here and create a new group. So this one here is the Baby Diaper Caddy and click on Create an Ad. All right, now if we go to the Supplier Tracker, you'll see that there's a new tab here with Diaper Caddy and this is the supplier here. And we can expand this to get their recent information as well as search for their contact information. Now what that does is actually pulls up a Google search and it's easy to you can just look for their name. So for example, this is Tangent Ultra Gear. And if we look down here to see if they actually have a website. And I don't actually see one, so let's just click on the first link. And if we scroll down, we can see that there's their contact information here. Okay, and if we go back to Jungle Scout, we can actually add their contact information here. So their name, contact, phone number, you can paste it all in here and save it. And then once you contact them and get some quotes, you can actually add a quote here. So for example, who you talk to, when the date was, how much it costs for 500 units, let's just say. And then if you click on save, you can see that it keeps track of all that information here. So it's all in one easy to access spot for you to contact and negotiate with other suppliers. So this ASIN search isn't 100%. Sometimes it may not be able to find the supplier for a specific listing. In those cases, you can actually do a product search. So in this case, if we're looking for the diaper caddy, we can just do a search for that. And this tool is so powerful because it pulls this information from the US import trade data and it matches anything that finds for this product that you're looking for. So you can see here that the default is, is searching for all countries and it's pulling up all the imports for diaper caddies. And you can see here, Yoho Arts had 94 shipments to four customers. And this one had 183 shipments with four customers. And if you click on the view more, it'll actually show you when those imports were, who the customers are, and what the actual shipment was right here, okay? So for example, if we clicked on this all matches, it'll find the ones that are specific to what you're searching for. For example, the diaper caddy. And you can see that Pearhead Inc. ordered a lot of these diaper caddies and you can do a search for this on Amazon to see what their listing is like and if the product is good or not based on their reviews. Now, if we scroll back up and you want to avoid suppliers from China, you can easily do that by choosing here and deselect all and only look for specific suppliers in certain countries. For example, only in Korea, Taiwan, Thailand, uh, the UK, US, Vietnam, for example. And if we click on search, it's only gonna pull up imports from those specific countries. So now you can see here that, uh, for example, this one, they've done 20 shipments to one customer. If we click on view more, you can see when those were. And if we scroll down here, you can see what those shipments contained, okay? So if you're on Alibaba and you wanna vet specific suppliers, you can actually do that as well. So if we're looking at these diaper caddies here, and we wanna find out if this supplier here has done any recent imports, we can copy their name go back to the Jungle Scout supplier database and under the supplier option, type in their name here and do a search. And you can see that it pulled them up right here and they've done six shipments to six customers. Okay, so if you click on view more, you can see when they were. And if we scroll down, we can see who their actual customers were. So for example, if we take a look, Creative Ways sells this diaper bag. So let's do a search to see if they come up on Amazon so we can see the quality of their product. So if we go back to Amazon and do a search for Creative Ways, we can see what comes up. So I'm not seeing their diaper bag in here. So let's go to Google and do a search for Creative Ways diaper bag. We can see that there's one right here on Amazon by Creative Ways. And if we click on it, you can see this is their listing here, Creative Ways for this diaper backpack, and it only got two stars, okay? So that doesn't really inspire much confidence for this supplier. So I hope you can see how powerful using this tool is for you to vet suppliers. 
Now, another easy way to use this tool is while you're doing product research for a niche. So for example, if you're looking at this felt letter board and we pull up the Chrome extension, while you're analyzing the data in this niche, there's actually a new feature here for you to find the suppliers for these sellers. So let's just find the supplier, for example, this top seller here, if we click on this button, it pulls up the suppliers right away in one easy click. And you can see this is that listing here, that's their ASIN. And again, this is the supplier for that felt letter board, the exact same results that we did before with the search. And so this actually works across all marketplaces, not just for the US. Suppliers are generally exporting products across the entire world. So you find a top quality supplier that's importing products into the US, they're probably equally as trustworthy and reliable for other marketplaces like the US or Australia or Japan or Germany. Now this supplier database tool is actually part of Jungle Scout's web app monthly subscription. So if you already have a subscription, this tool is actually available to you right now. So go try it out. Now, if you don't have the web app subscription, I'll leave a link in the description below to a coupon for you so you can save some money. All right, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. And I'm curious if anyone has used the supplier database to find their supplier and if so, what your experience has been like. And if you're looking for more content on how to find and contact suppliers, check out these videos here. All right, thanks for watching. If you found value in this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And make sure you click that bell icon to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. There's also a link in the description below to our community forums, which you should totally join. And as always, thanks for watching.